we begin to explore a new orthodox perspective, one within our orthodox framework of addressing tough questions, but willing to apply contemporary anthropology, mm -hmm. science, and psychology to provide grace and economia, leniency for the LGBTQ plus people and their relationships that have long, long been a part of the fabric of human relationships. And I think I'm really thankful they haven't. for Dr. Rich, who has done great work with his book. To yeah, they, they, they haven't been a part of uh, a, a rich Well, history. certainly not a part of the Orthodox uh, Christian teaching and, and experience, the, but the... Uh, um, the well, let me interrupt you real quick, Father. This, this article, which is very good, goes into the history of homosexuality and people like identifying as homos I mean, homosexual acts have been going on for you know forever that's 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 true but that doesn't mean that people have identified by that that's very modern that's very new yes mm -hmm. yes good point that so he's full of it there that's not true what he's saying so but regardless, <laughs> it, regardless okay, of what's happened among pagans or among others, the, the you know this he's talking about within the Orthodox framework. There's nothing in the Orthodox framework that would that would adopt a new anthropology. Yeah. Why Why are we going to look to a, a contemporary anthropology? He said, "That's that's apostasy. The contemporary anthropologies are not are are, are expressing the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church's experience of what it means to be a restored human being." To be in communion, to be God by grace? No, <laughs> they're not even remotely in that realm. So I, why yeah. would we sit at the feet of contemporary anthropologies and science and rethink what we know to be the healed, the restored, the regenerated, the transfigured man? No, it's not going to come from this earth. It's because from yeah, because I think this comes from Catholic humoretics, or we call that that interpretation, is that. The the Bible uh, is has to be read within a historical context. So within that historical context, people in the first millennium, whatever, didn't understand the modern conception of of homosexuality like we understand today, because we are informed, like what he's saying, by psychological insights and these new you know insights that, that but, we... but we don't we don't but that's irrelevant because <laughs> christ understood the human person <laughs> christ well, gee, and, yeah. and the saints understood the human person and the teaching we're talking about comes from him and his apostles and disciples <laughs> what people thought or did not think 2000 or 1000 years ago is irrelevant we're not we're not uh i mean they want they want to put christian teaching into some kind of uh, limited human uh, scope and, and framework, but that's not what we've been received. Yeah. If that's all we received, then what are we doing?